Hello! Would you like to know how to make super colourful rice? It's really great for sensory play with toddlers, preschoolers and even older to be honest and it's a really really super easy recipe. So this is what I mean by colourful rice in case you've not seen some of my recent posts. As you see it's lovely and colourful and rainbow like. So it's super super easy. All you need is maybe a cup or two of cheap rice um, some ready mix paint, so sort of like ready mix tempera paint like this one, and also um, a freezer bag or a Ziploc bag similar to this. Okay, so all I'm going to do is to get the rice and pop it straight into the bag. Put about half a cup there, maybe add a little bit more. Obviously, it depends how much you want to make. Okay, so I'm going to put about a cup full into my bag. And then all you need to do is to get your paint. I've just got this bright fluorescent pink one, it's always nice. And put a bit of a squirt in there. So it's not a massive amount. You can always add a little bit more if you feel like it needs it. So I'll just show you there, just about C. I don't know. <laughs> um, so then once you've got it in there, and this is quite fun to do actually, squish it about and get it as covered as possible. Now, I quite often tend to do this on an evening, just before I go to bed, and, and then it can just kind of dry overnight. But it actually doesn't take that long, maybe an hour or so, and it will be dry and ready to use after that point anyway. So just check it if you're wanting to use it on the same day. But yeah, just keep going until it's quite nicely covered. Don't know how well you can see that on the camera there. So just keep that well and truly mixed up. And what I tend to do is literally leave it like that on the side and then maybe just go and check it again very quickly after about an hour and just check that it's um, coming apart okay and not all stuck together. And then I leave it until it's properly dry. It's so easy to use. And another good thing to do as well, a really good trick that I learned, is quite often when you do a setup of rice, you want to do lots of nice different colours, but ultimately they all get mixed up, don't they? So one of the things you can do is don't think that you have to throw that away just because all the colours are mixed up. What you can do is the exact same method again. Put it in a freezer bag and mix it with the colour that you want. So I did, I used this stuff that you can see here, okay? And last night I mixed it with some green paint, left it overnight. This is what I've got left now. I used quite a dark green. And it shaded it really well, even though it was, you know, colourful before. So that's a really good thing. Don't think just because you've shaded it once and then it's all got mixed up that you have to throw it away. Just re-dye it. Use the paint again on what other colours you want. I quite like it as well because it ends up slightly different shades. It's not like a complete continuous green. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera there. So it's really useful, I think, um, to be able to re-dye your rice and not have to throw it away. The other thing that's really good as well, you can use the exact same method that I've just done and you can use it for pasta. If I just show you this, it's my tub of pasta. I've used the exact same method for pasta. So this is just a, a tub of dried pasta coloured in. Um, and I've also used the same method for chickpeas. You can see we've gone through some bright, <laughs> bright colours recently. So again, exact same method, just squish it around with some paint, leave it overnight until it dries and it's, it's dead easy to make, dead easy to use. So I hope that's given you some ideas of things you might be able to use to play with today. If you want some more sensory recipes like slime and Play-Doh and things like that that you can make at home, I've put a link to my freebie. It's just a printable PDF with seven different sensory recipes that, you, that are easy to follow just like that one so that you can do them at home. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Give me a shout if you want any more ideas. Take care. Bye for now.